The Grand Rapids Griffins start a new season tonight against a team that they've never played before. The Griffins are set to host the Colorado Eagles at Van Andel. Puck drop, 7 o'clock tonight. Marley Weirda joins us rinkside with more. Marley? Yeah, we are ringside here at Van Andel Arena. Doors just open. Fans are starting to trickle in, and we are excited to be joined by first-year Griffins head coach Dan Watson. Coach, how excited are you to make your debut with the uh, behind the Griffins bench tonight? Well, getting more and more excited as, as I see people walk in and, and sit down in their seats. So uh, it's a big day. You know, it's been it's been coming here for a long time, and uh, I think everyone's excited that it's finally game time that actually means something. For you personally, are you feeling any kind of nerves? What, what are the emotions behind this day for you? Yeah, I think probably just a little bit of anxiousness, but it's a good it's a good feeling. It's good energy, and, uh, you know, I'm excited to coach these guys and, and to see what it looks like, see the product on the ice finally. And you're no stranger to the Red, Ring, Red Wings organization. You spent a long time in, in Toledo with the ECHL affiliate. What does it mean to land this job and stay within the organization and kind of have this, uh, you know, organization rally behind you and what you've been able to do? Yeah, I think it's, it speaks volumes that they're hiring in-house, you know, and not a lot of teams do that. They're, there's a lot of times they look for outside coaches and, and staff. So uh, for them to do that, it means a ton. Um, obviously, we had a great run in Toledo, and I'm looking to do the same thing here in Grand Rapids now. And Griffins obviously didn't have the most successful season last year, but what are you looking to do this season with the team? Well, just try to build a culture that's sustainable, uh, both development and winning. Uh, and it starts here tonight, so I think we're excited for that, but also just making sure that the community can be proud of what the product looks like on the ice, too. Sure, and we talked a little bit about this this week, um, that you have all the pieces on paper, it seems like, have all the pieces for success. How excited are you to see it come to life here on the ice for, for the first time? Well, you know, you hope that everyone's gelling you know you hope that this the four days of practice we've had here guys are, are talking on the ice or communicating so it looks good structurally he, you know, the last thing you want is to, to come out here and, and not look like a good product and, and so uh, you know I think the guys have come together you know they've, they've done a really good job of bonding here this week a couple fans starting to, to make their way into the arena now um, what's your message to them and what do you um, expect them to, to see here tonight well let's pack the place number one let's let's make it loud let's get some energy going the players certainly feed off that uh, enjoy the show that's the biggest thing let's enjoy the show here tonight and then let's start a fun season all right coach thank you so much appreciate your time all right thank you yep, it's a seven o'clock tip kick or puck drop tonight rather <laughs> we're in hockey season now got to get used to it and we'll have the highlights tonight on the frenzy along with uh, several other games tonight back to you